Hi friends. Something in our new packet is singular and plural nouns. Whoa, that is a different thing that we haven't really learned about at all yet. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what those are. First of all, a noun is a type of word. It can be a person like Miss Revstock. It can be a place like Disneyland or North Fork Elementary School. Or a noun can be a thing like an apple. Apple is a noun. A noun is a type of word. Okay, and when we're looking at singular versus plural nouns, those are nouns that can either mean singular, just one thing, or plural, more than one. On your page in the packet, it asks you to sort out words and to tell if they are singular, only one thing, or plural, more than one. Okay? So, if I said, I'm going to eat an apple. Apple. Is that just one or more than one? Think about that. If I say I'm going to eat an apple, do you think I'm going to eat one apple or more than one? When I say I'm going to eat an apple, that means I'm only going to eat one apple. That would be a singular noun. An apple is a noun because it's a thing, and if I'm only going to eat one apple, apple would be singular. If I said, my friend gave me two apples, or my friend gave me apples, do you think that means I would only have one apple or more than one apple? I would have a more than one apple if I said my friend gave me apples. There's an s at the end. That means I'm going to have more than one and apples is a plural noun. Okay? Apple is a singular noun. Apples is a plural noun. Another example is if I said, please write this word, do you think you would need to write more than one word or one word? Word does not have a s at the end. It is a singular noun. If I said, please write some words, that would be a plural noun because I'm asking you to write more than one. I know this is kind of a tricky topic, and if you need help, save that page in your packet to work on with me in the next couple of weeks, okay, friends? I'll talk to you soon.